Alright, so let's quickly look at a new feature in MA3 version 1.5, Agenda. This is not a new feature um, to MA2 users, this was in MA2, um, but it got introduced into MA3 in version 1.5, so let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to go to my sequence sheet, let's just delete all of these for now. And we are going to go to the More tab here, and we're going to hit Agenda. Lovely. Alright. So here we have our agenda column. A couple things to note is over here, you're gonna see your view mode. This is how you view the agenda. Um, you can view it in years. This is gonna show you all of your events for the year, your month, a week, and then a day, which also has a little month icon as well. Or you can just view it in the sheet, which will show you everything. So essentially you can use agenda to schedule sequences and events to run at a specific time. This can be really helpful like for architectural installations. Um, maybe like there's a venue where you want your house lights to come on every morning at eight and go out every evening at five or something. Um, but you're like, there's not a technician there to actually accomplish that. Well, don't worry, you can schedule it in agenda. All right, so let's say we are now going to schedule an event. So I'm going to go to the setup here. You can see it's out of there. Um, I'm going to hit the plus icon here, and I'm going to tap in here. And you can see it has now added an agenda event. I can go over to this little tool icon here, which is the edit mode, and I can now edit it. That's amazing. Take a look at that. Alrighty. So um, I can name this. So I'm going to name this. Um, uh, I can't actually remember what my sequence is. Um, Aurora's up. Okay, and you can set appearances um, as well, which is kind of cool. But now we can set our object. So you can uh, assign a macro, which is helpful if you like have tons of sequences you're running, a plugin or a sequence. I'm going to assign a sequence. I'm going to assign sequence nine. Great. And the action is going to be go plus because I want it to go, obviously. All right. And you can set a repeat, so you can, um, you know, uh, set the specific days you want, um, if you want it every day, if you want it, you know, whatever. Set all that. Super, super helpful. All right. So let's say we have that now. I'm just going to shrink this a little bit and open my 3D window. All right. And now if we go into edit here and we go to test, you can see my sequence is running. And just for reference, this sequence is essentially just a little follow like effect thing I made where I have my auroras fading in and fading out. Kind of cool, right? And so, and then you can change this if you want it to go minus, if you want it to flash, learn a speed. I don't know why you want it to have that. But that is really helpful. And so then you can set specific times um, that you want like your thing to start. So if I wanted to, for it to start today, but I wanted it to start at, you know, um, teen on the hour, right, apply. And then this will run that at that specific start time. And you can see I have a countdown here. This countdown is counting down to the time uh, when it will uh, start. Very, very helpful. Um, use I you know I use this uh, quite a bit uh, in like my more you know uh, like architectural kind of projects and stuff very helpful check it out play around with it a lot of features really really fun and exciting